Now, you might remember back in chapter what's that, 16, 5 even, we talked about um, how to find delta H. We learned our four ways to calculate delta mm. H. Hess's law version 1, products minus reactants. Hess's law version 2, add the reaction method. We kind of did that. Kind of just, just did, yeah. yeah. And then third one was calorimetry. Yep. Remember delta G, or delta H will be uh, kilojoules divided by, you do Q equals MC delta T, and then you do your moles. And I said, I've always said that there's always one more method. Yep. And that method is called bond <laughs> energies. Here and, it is. and today you're going to learn how to use bond energies to find delta H. Yep. And here's the key reaction, or uh, equation. It's bonds broken, bonds bonds formed. Now something that's about odd this, if I've yeah. got you know A plus B makes C plus D or whatever in some reaction, the bonds broken are from the reactant side, so notice I said reactant bonds, minus the bonds on the product side. Now the reason that's kind of weird is you're pretty used to taking products minus reactants. But at this one you're going to go reactants minus reactants products. Minus it's the products. Only, only one of them that you do reactants minus products. So it's a little bit weird. Yep. Okay. That's why I always just think the broken minus form thing. Yeah, broken minus form. Now, you break things on the left and you form them on the right. Now, uh, something we haven't really learned too much how to do, so we're going to do a really quick introduction on organic chemistry so that you can draw the bonds. A lot of students struggle with this. If you've got a halide, no, it's a halide. What's that mean? Uh, it's an ion from a halide. So it's fluorine, chlorine, bromine. It's the last column on the periodic table. Well, second yeah. to last, I should say. It's not, not including the the uh, noble gases, plus hydrogen, they basically need one bond. Oxygen and sulfur on the periodic table need two. Nitrogen and phosphorus need three, and carbon needs four. You'll see why that's important in just a minute. Okay, so let's do an example. Actually, this is a table, so if you open your book to page, I don't know what page is on, Mr. Sam. Oh, boy, I don't know, 8.4. Yeah, well, anyways, you've got this table, and you'll need to use it. Um, big time on your, on your podcast, on your notes, there it is, page 372. Yep. And this is the bond energy. So if I've got an HH bond, it has an uh, average bond energy of 432 kilojoules per mole, or if it's IBR, it's 175, or whatever the case might be. There's a special case, by, by the way, down here. In the carbon dioxide, the double bond is 799, whereas normally it's 745. So it's sort of a special case. Okay. And then also we have um, uh, bond energies of some other selected bonds. Okay. Now, it says calculate the delta H for the following reaction. Now the key thing when you do this is that you actually have to know what bonds hold it together. Mm -hmm. Now remember I said that carbon, I have to actually draw the structure. So yep. carbon normally gets, needs four bonds. And so if I've got four, eight, and hydrogens want one, so when I do CH4, I have to draw this out like this. Plus the chlorine. Now chlorine is a halogen, so he needs one bond, so I put another chlorine. But there are two chlorines here, so I'm going to say chlorine, chlorine. You see that now? Yep. There there two, and then I got two fluoride, fluorines, and he's also F, F, and then F, and then F. And he's going to make a CF2, Cl2. So carbon wants four bonds, and if you see that there's two Fs and two Cls. So it's going to look like this, okay. plus an HF, which is H, just F. They all want, everybody wants one bond in this two case. Oh, and you want two of those, that's correct. And you want two HCLs. Got yeah. it? Now, here's the key. These bonds over here will be broken, and these over here will be formed. Yeah, so we're breaking them up, rearranging them, and sticking them back together. So if I have the CH4 bonds, mm -hmm. what I would actually do, I really should I could go down. Well, we'll just do it right here. All right, I'm going to have four CH bonds right here. Now, that means I'll take four of them times the value of a CH bond. 413 each. Some 413. And then I've got um, two CL, CL bonds, so two of those. Times 239 each. 239. Actually, you don't have to put the two right there, I guess. Um, and then I have F, F bonds, and there are two of those, and that's going to be 154, 154 each. each. And that's a total of 2438. 2438. This second one over here, I've got um, a CF bond. I have two of those. Mm -hmm. And those are 485 each. 485. And I've got a CCL bond, and I've got two of those. 339 each. 339. Folks, you understand where he's getting that. He's using this table right here. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. And then I've got H 
F bond, and there are two of those. 565 each. 565, and I've got an HCl bond, and that's two of those. 427. So if you take and add all these numbers up right here, 2 times 45 plus 2 times 339, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you get the grand total of 3632. 3632. And it's bonds broken minus form. So then you're going to take the 2,438 number and subtract 3,632, and you get a negative answer. Yep, what? negative 1194 kilojoules. That is the delta H for this reaction. Yep. Bonds broken minus bonds formed. Let's do one that's just a tad bit more complex. So it's N2O4. All right, I'm going to get a blank screen. N2O4. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be N, N. Is this right? O. Are the N's in the middle? Uh, yeah, I believe they are. And that, that's the rocket fuel one, right? The N's want three bonds, but the O's want two. So this isn't going to make them happy, Mr. Sams. Mm, we're going to have to draw the certain... Are those double bonds? No, can't be double bonds. That's what I was thinking. Unless it's N-O-N-O-L. It's got to be this. Uh, I forget. Let me look it up. Well, let's pretend that it is. Okay? <laughs> so we've got N204, but there's five of them. I'm just going to put a five right here. And we're going to make N2H3CH3. So you've got to figure out how to draw this. N2, H3, CH3. Yeah, it's going to look like this. Oh, OK. Like that, Mr. Sams? Yep. OK, I messed up. OK, but this I'm, I'm, got, I'm good on this one. This is actually violating the in rule. Isn't yeah. It? He usually that would probably be given to you since it's a weird one. Yeah. All right. We had and, to look it up in here. And there are four of these. And that's going to make 12 waters. Water, of course, is just H O H. And there's 12 of those plus nine nitrogens. Nitrogen has a triple bond holding it together because he needs three bonds, generally speaking. And carbon dioxide, has he needs four. And the only way to really make everybody happy is to do it to the double bond. Wrong direction. And that's four of those. So now we're going to sort of total everything up. All right. All right, I've got N, N bonds. N, N bonds. And I have five of them. Single N, N bonds? Yes. Uh, okay, single N, N bonds, 160 each. 160 each. Now, okay. that, that's this bond here. Now I've got N double bond O. Now I've got five molecules of this, but I've got two per, so I've got ten of them, if you think yep. about it. And how much is that? 607. 607. And then I've got the N single bond O, and I will also have ten of those. 201. 201. Now, I want, that's the first molecule. The second molecule, I've got some N, N bonds. I guess we've already done that, but yeah. we have one of them per molecule and four molecules. So actually, let's just change this to a 9, right? All 5 right. plus 4 is 9. Good so let's call this NH. We've got quite a few NHs. I've got 1, 2, 3 of those times 4. So I have 12 NH bonds. Uh, 391 each. 391. And then I've got, which am I missing? I've got an NC bond, and I've got one of those. That's this bond right here. So four of those. What's an NC bond? 305. 305. And again, we're using that same chart, folks. And it looks like I've got some CH bonds. I've got three of them, but four. There's four molecules, so that'll be a 12 banger. And that's and uh, CH four is 413. 413. So then we take all these and we add them all up. And I'm frantically putting that in my calculator right now. All right. We got 20388. 20,388. Now, on the other reverse side, we've got 12 waters. So I've got an H O bond, but there are two of them here. So that'll be 24 times, what's the H O bond? 467. 467. That'll be a big number. Uh, for the triple bond, the N triple bond N, there are nine of them. And that's a big number. 941. 941. 
and then the C double bond O for the carbon dioxide. There are well, two the special case one. eight. So the eight of these, isn't that seven ninety nine? It is. Yeah, times seven ninety nine. Not as many, but still they're gonna add up a pretty big number. So what does this add up to, Mr. Sam? Two six two six, six uh, two six zero six nine. Okay, so what do you do now? Products minus reactions. Products minus reactions. 20,388 minus 26,069, about negative 5 grand. Something. Negative 5681. Nicely exothermic. Yeah, very exothermic reaction. There you go. I think this is like a rocket fuel problem, actually. Yeah, I think it is. So, so it better be exothermic. That's really, really exothermic, negative 5600. Yeah, so I could believe rocket fuel on that one.